What does it mean for a directed graph to be strongly connected? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. Sorry if the audio sounds a little bit different in this lesson. I had to leave my studio due to a hurricane causing a power outage, but no little hurricane or power outage is going to stop the math. Before we get to the definition of strongly connected, let's quickly recap some definitions of connectivity that we're all probably familiar with. We say an undirected graph, G, is connected if every pair of vertices in G is connected by a path. So here's an example of a connected, undirected graph. It is a connected graph because there's a path connecting every pair of vertices. And since this is an undirected graph, if there's a path going from A to C, for example, we can also travel from C to A by just going the opposite direction along the same path. And this is where it gets tricky for directed graphs. Notice why we could not just use this same exact definition for directed graphs. If we orient this graph by assigning a direction to all of its edges, we see how it may be possible to get from B to D. However, due to the direction in the edges, it's not possible to go the opposite direction along the same path. And in fact, there is no way to get from the vertex D to the vertex B in this directed graph. So it seems we have to be a bit more specific in discussing what it means for a pair of vertices to be connected by a path in directed graphs. The first way we might address this problem is with a definition called weakly connected, also sometimes just referred to as connected. So a directed graph D is connected, or weakly connected, if the underlying graph of D is connected. Recall that the underlying graph of a directed graph is obtained by removing the direction from the edges. So in this case, the underlying graph of this directed graph is seen here. We may choose to allow for multiple edges in the underlying graph, or we may combine them into one edge so we're only looking at simple graphs. But whatever we choose to do with the multiple edges for underlying graphs, it will not affect whether or not a directed graph is weakly connected. Notice how this underlying graph is connected with or without the multiple edges. And if the underlying graph of a directed graph is connected, that's when we say the directed graph is weakly connected. Notice, for example, in this directed graph, it's possible to get from D to B, but it's not possible to get from B to D. It's also not possible to get from A to any other vertex in this directed graph. However, despite all of that, since the underlying graph is connected, we say that this directed graph is weakly connected. This definition of connectivity for directed graphs basically reduces the definition back down to the definition of connected for undirected graphs. So then finally, we come to the definition of strongly connected, which does consider direction. A directed graph D is strongly connected if, for every pair of vertices U and V in D, there exists a path connecting those vertices in both directions. So there exists a UV path and a VU path. Here is another directed graph. Is this directed graph strongly connected? If you look closely, you'll see that it is not. For example, it's possible to get from B to D, but it's not possible to get from D to B. So, although there is a BD path in this graph, there is no DB path. So, since we can't travel between every pair of vertices in either direction in this graph, it is not strongly connected. However, we could make it strongly connected by just changing the direction on this edge so that it goes from C to B. Now you'll see that we could travel between any pair of vertices in either direction, and that's what makes a directed graph strongly connected. Now you see we can go from D to B, and of course we can still go from B to D. We can also travel from A to C, and we can travel from C to A. And if you took the time to check, you would see it's also possible to travel between every other pair of vertices in this graph in either direction. So it is a strongly connected directed graph. It's possible to reach any vertex from any other vertex. 
And notice how this really captures the same idea of connectivity for undirected graphs. An undirected graph is connected if every pair of vertices in the graph is connected by a path. And in an undirected graph, that means it's possible to reach any vertex from any other vertex. For example, since we can travel from A to C, and the edges don't have direction, we can also reach A from C. We can travel from C to A. And that same idea is captured in directed graphs with the definition of strongly connected. So that's what it means to be strongly connected. A directed graph D is strongly connected if, for every pair of vertices U and V in D, there exists a path going from U to V and a path going from V to U. So I hope this video helped you understand the definition of strongly connected. We'll talk more about this in future lessons. We'll discuss algorithms, strongly connected components, lots of other fun stuff. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. Uh -huh.